Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos and today I am working on an ink, watercolour and pencil piece. Um, this one is inspired by my previous ink and watercolour piece. I uploaded that one, it wasn't my previous video but it was the one before that. Um, and it's the same character and idea, so it's very similar, um, just because I wanted to kind of explore this more pop surrealist style, and I was very happy with the previous piece. It was actually one that I... that was a week where I had no idea what to do, and it was just like a random idea, but sometimes those are kind of like the best ideas, so um, I've decided to explore that character more. Um, so she's still headless, she still doesn't have any eyes, um, but we also have a cat head uh, in this piece as well. Um, and also some moons because it is kind of like spacey theme, there's lots of stars in the background. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of weird, which is what I was after. Um, for this piece, I am using my watercolour sketchbook. Um, I did do a rough sketch uh, of this piece just on like, just like, not good paper, like paper that's good for just really rough sketches. Um, and then once I was happy with that, I then just freehanded it on this sketchbook. Sometimes I do scan it and then copy it over if I'm like super happy with like the, um, the rough sketch. But this one, I was pretty confident that I could just recreate it. Um, so I just did it that way instead. Um, and uh, I just drew this one with an HB pencil um, and I do use a bit of a um, 2B pencil as well to kind of darken some more areas, kind of like the shading on the face and that kind of thing. Um, and then I'm using my Pentel brush pen, my Peerless watercolours and my white pen. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the supplies. I use these ones a lot for my um, kind of more mixed media watercolour pieces. Um, the only thing I didn't use for this one was my coloured pencils. A lot of the time I will go over the colour again with coloured pencil to kind of just add more to it, but I didn't really feel the need to with this piece. So um, yeah, no, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. The, uh, the moons were actually originally going to be roses, um, but then I thought, I don't know, like Having alive roses in space probably isn't really that realistic. Not that we're going for anything realistic here, um, but at least, you know, these characters are kind of weird to begin with. Um, so I thought moons were a bit more appropriate and they kind of went more with the theme. And I actually only decided to do them when I just put the circles down where the roses were going to go. And then I was like, hang on, I could leave these as circles and they could be moons. So, um, yeah, sometimes, you know, you kind of change your idea as you're working, like, even if you've planned it out a bit differently, and that's okay. Um, and yeah, no, I had a lot of fun with this piece. I'm really enjoying uh, this character and kind of, like, very pop surrealist work, which is what I do want to um, kind of work more towards. Um, maybe I'll do, like, an acrylic painting with this character, or... Um, I don't know, I can maybe add even more um, elements to it, so even maybe other animals, um, maybe like two heads, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun with it, so yeah. Um, I don't really have too much else to say in this video, I'm trying to think if there's anything else new. Um, I do like how this piece um, turns out, but the one thing I'm not that happy with is actually the cat head. Like, it does look better um, at the end, but I'm still, like, not 100% about it. I'm just like, oh, like, I don't know. I think it could be better. Um, obviously, like, I can't really do much about it now because it's, like, it's done. And once I'd kind of done more to it, I was like, well, yeah, like, I can't really fix it. Um, so, I mean, I don't mind how it is, but... Yeah, I'm not like super happy about it, but you know, it's fine. Um, it's something I can, you know, learn and fix with the next piece that I do. Um, that's a great thing about art. You can always start something new and 
improve that way and just leave your other works behind you if you're not that happy with them. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm probably going to offer prints for this piece as well because I am pretty happy with it. Um, so you can find those over on my Society6 shop, which is just society6.com forward slash mxmarie. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all from me today. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel either. That way you won't miss any of my videos. And I'm getting really close to 25,000 subscribers, which is awesome. So thank you all. Um, I really appreciate the support. Um, and yes, anyway, that is all from me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And I will see you all in my next video.